Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you that how to get a PhD position in South Korea. I will tell you that you have to make only one plan and you have to stick to it. And if you will stick to it, you will definitely get a PhD position. So there are some prerequisites for getting a PhD scholarship or MS scholarship in South Korea. And I'm going to tell you about a professor funded scholarship in South Korea. In South Korea, almost every professor receives a research grant from Research and Development Ministry of the South Korean government. And they spend those grants for their research projects and for those research projects, they hire some foreign students because South Korean professors believe that the students from South Asia have better English and they can do better research and in the end they can publish better research papers as compared to South Korean students who do not have a very good exposure of English. So we being a South Asian student as we have studied English from our primary school so we have uh, an edge over the Korean students that we have better English speaking, writing, reading and listening skills and that's what is our plus point. So that's why a South Korean professor would happily hire a PhD or MS student who belong to a South Asian region because they know that the people from these region have better English as compared to Koreans. So first of all, apart from your academic documents, you need three basic things to apply for a PhD or MS position in any South Korean university. First thing is your CV, second thing is your cover letter and the third thing is your IELTS certificate. An IELTS certificate is necessary because the Korean government have made it compulsory for getting a South Korean visa. Although IELTS certificate is not required to get admission in South Korean university. In recent past, South Korean government has changed its policy to get South Korean visa. Now you have to get IELTS certificate. Now you have these three prerequisites to get admission in South Korea and to get South Korean visa. So let's start with the plan. The plan is to find your relevant professors. So how can you find relevant professors? First of all, you have to finalize a topic. That topic might be related to your final year project in your BS or your MS. So that's the best way because you have experience of the topic for at least six months or one year or you might be having some publication regarding that topic. So it would be your plus point to find a relevant professor to your specific topic. What you have to do, you have to make a list of professors related to your previous research. And once you have made a list of those professors, short list at least 20 professors from that list. So carefully read about the profile of those professors. Now that you have shortlisted at least 20 professors, now read their profile carefully and read their research papers, especially the recent research papers. Now that you have finalized a topic for your potential PhD or MS, so now you have to write an email to that professor. And in that email, you have to convince the professor that you are the right person for that position. So how would you convince him? You have to write a short plan or in that email, no need to write a separate project. Just within like a paragraph, just write short project for your potential PhD project. And in this short project, you will highlight some of the points that you're most interested to do or to conduct a research. So now you will send emails to those professors which you have already shortlisted and you have also read about those professors. So what I would suggest that do not copy paste your one email to all the 20 professors. So make your email something special for each professor. I would suggest you should specifically focus on the research area of that professor and by focusing on specific research area of that professor, you can change your research project a little bit according to each professor. And then you will send those emails to those professors and do not copy paste. So once you have sent the emails to your relevant professors, 
so now you have to be patient and you have to be hopeful that some of those professors would respond to you and as soon as any professor responds he will tell you if he has a position in his lab or not if you do not get a reply from those professors wait at least for two weeks and after two weeks send a reminder email with your previous email wait for another one week but if no professor replies until one more week then just leave those professors and do this process again with some other professors and hopefully some professor would reply and you have to repeat this process until you receive a PhD or master's position from this professor. What you have to do, you have to stick to it because the persistence would always overcome resistance. Hopefully some professor would reply with a positive response and he would be willing to give you a PhD position or MS position. That's all for this video. If you have any question, just comment down below.